there's something that can go wrong when we're solving an equation in which the variable appears several times. The thing that can go wrong is that as we're simplifying or as we're eliminating variable terms, all of the variable terms are eliminated. So let me show you an example. Let's say we encountered this equation. 3x plus 3 times 10 minus x equals 25. We go to simplify this left-hand side, and we see 3x plus 3 times 10 plus negative x. Simplifying the second term, we have just copy the 3x plus 3 times 10 is 30 plus negative 3x. Oh, 3x plus negative 3x plus 30. That's 3x plus negative 3x, those are opposites. That's just 0. So we're just left with 30. Our simplified equation then is 30 equals 25. Is there anything that we could make x to make 30 equal 25? No. This equation has no solution. Just to see what that actually looks like, on my calculator, I'm going to say 3x plus 3 10 minus x in my y1. And I'm going to look at the table. Notice, no matter what value x has, that left-hand side is always 30. So the reason that there's no solution is that there really isn't any variability. There isn't any changing in that left-hand side. Or let's see another example. We have the equation 4x plus 6 equals 4x plus 10. We decide to get rid of the x term on the left by adding negative 4x to both sides. Oh, but it turns out that both of those x terms cancel out. And we're just left with 6 equals 10. Again, no matter what x is, 6 and 10 are different, so this is no solution. Again, let's look at the table on the calculator and see what that looks like. 4x plus 6, 4x plus 10. What do we see here? In every row, y2 is 4 more than y1. They never get any closer together or further apart. y2 is always going to be 4 more than y1. They're never going to be the same. So, in general, if at any point we've eliminated all the variable terms, and the resulting equation is false no matter what, then the equation has no solution. What if we eliminate all the variable terms and the resulting equation is true? So let's say we had this equation. 2 thirds of 3x plus 12 minus 2x equals 8. Well, our first step would be simplifying this left-hand side. So 2 thirds of 3x plus 12 
minus 2x. Simplify this first term by distributing the 2 thirds. So we have 2 thirds times 3x plus 2 thirds times 12 plus copy the negative 2x. 2 thirds times 3x, that's 2x. 2 thirds times 12, that's 8. And don't forget the negative 2x. You're welcome to use your calculator for that multiplication if you'd like. So I have 2x plus negative 2x plus 8. Again, 2x plus negative 2x is just 0. So all that's left is 8. My resulting equation is 8 equals 8. That's true no matter what. No matter what x is, 8 and 8 are in fact equal. So this has every number as a solution. Every number is a solution to this equation because when we eliminated the variable term, it was true no matter what. Or another example. Let's say you have the equation 7x plus 6 equals 7x plus 6. Now, maybe you can see that this is true no matter what. But maybe you're really in your groove of solving equations and you don't spot that these are the same expression on both sides. So maybe you decide to get rid of the x term on the left. Add a negative 7x to both sides. And you notice that that cancels on the right as well and you're left with 6 equals 6. No matter what x is, 6 equals 6 is true. So here again we have every number is a solution. So if at any point we eliminate all the variable terms and the resulting equation is true no matter what, then every number is a solution. Okay, fine. This is a thing that happens. What does it mean? Does this ever happen in a real life situation? As it turns out, it does sometimes, and it means something. If either one of these happens in an application problem, something weird has happened. Like what? Well, most applications were saying what does x have to be in order to accomplish some goal? If we solve the resulting equation and get no solution, that goal is impossible. There's something about the way that we've posed the question that there's actually no way to make that happen. On the other hand, if we find that every number is a solution, then whatever x we pick will accomplish the goal. It turns out that there's just no restriction in what value we pick for x. We can do whatever we want. Now, it can also mean, though, and this should probably be your first thought if you find no solution or everything being a solution in an application, it might also mean that we made a mistake in the setup. But it does happen that we have situations where our goal is impossible to accomplish or where any choice of values will accomplish that same goal.